I've been an ice hockey fan for more than half of my life, a damn sight longer than I've been a photographer. I've even got ice hockey sticks in my office. So when my friend gets in touch with me and says that his team is playing in my home city against one of the teams local to me, I had to be there. And then he said, why don't you bring your new camera, have a play, see what you can do. It's like my two worlds just, you know, coming together perfectly. And with you guys loving the Sony A7R5 content at the minute, I thought I would go see what I can do and report back. So here I am. So to set the scene, starting with my lens of choice, I've never done ice hockey photography. I've never really done sport photography whatsoever. The first one I reached for, which I almost knew straight away wouldn't be useful, but I took it anyway, was my 100 to 400. Now sure, 100 to 400 will cover most of the focal range, if not more than what I need for a standard ice hockey game. But the 100 to 400 that I have is f4.5 to 5.6. And at that point, as soon as I put it on, I was taking photos at 12,800 ISO. And that's definitely not what you want. So I took that off, switched it out for my 7200 f2.8. And that is the first time I've actually used that lens in the last four months. And it's came in clutch. All the photos you see in this video were taken around the 4,000 to 6,400 ISO mark. The aperture wide open on the 7200 at f2.8. And that allowed me to have the shutter speed 1 over 1,000 to make sure that the action was tack sharp as possible. Now something to note, the place I was sat isn't the best place to be when it comes to taking photos for ice hockey. I wasn't truly ice level, I was a little bit raised up. I was also sat behind the glass by about six foot. There was no little peephole for me to get through and I wasn't allowed on the bench unfortunately. It was a little bit of a shame, but I had no control over that. And unfortunately it did affect the quality of the photos ever so slightly, I feel. In terms of focus settings, if you've watched my wildlife video about the A7R5, I'll leave a link up here if you haven't. Then the settings I've chose to go for are fairly similar. I've used subject recognition, made sure it's turned on. Instead of obviously using animals or birds, I've set the subject recognition to actually be a person because we're photographing hockey. I've turned off the autofocus with shutter because I want to use back button focusing with the AF on button. Tracking sensitivity, I set it to 5 because that's the most responsive. And when it came to the focus area, I set it to tracking center, whereas I normally set it to tracking wide. Now the reason for it is at the very beginning I was setting it to tracking wide and I noticed that because there's multiple people on the ice but only one person I really wanted to focus on, the camera didn't know who to focus on at the very beginning. And that's because I was using a wide focus area and obviously the camera is looking at everything in frame. I found that setting it to center gave you a little bit more control and because we're using a 61 megapixel sensor, if you needed to reframe, you can reframe in post and not really worry about the crop factor because you've got plenty of pixels to play with. Sure, they're probably not the best settings to use when it comes to sport photography, but they're the ones which work for me and they gave me good results. If you've got any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm always open to learning. I shot all the photos in compressed raw. Why? Because I wanted a high frame rate in the high drive mode and I wanted then 10 frames per second. Whereas if you're shooting lossless or uncompressed raw, then you only get around six to seven frames per second. With it being sport, I wanted to capture the moment. And two of the most important settings is the mechanical shutter and then able the anti-flicker shooting mode. Because to say that I was in the arena, which is the most well-known I'd say in the UK for ice hockey, the lighting sucked big time. So what do you think of the photos? I'm pretty pleased with how the photos came out. I'm no professional sports photographer, nowhere near. I've never really done sports photography in my life and there's plenty of people here on YouTube and in the world who could smash it so much better than what I could, but not bad for a first time I'd say. But it was a great experience. I got some decent photos. My friend's team won 5-5 and it just makes me want to get back out on the ice and just go and punch someone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's great. I love hockey. It's addictive. <laughs> The thing is, everything I seem to be doing with this camera, the camera just comes out fighting and giving me really good results. And it's been a damn long time since I've had a camera which has pushed me and gave me the passion to go out there and take photos and still use it for video as much. So let me know what you want to see next and if I can make it happen, I will. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be doing even more with the a7R5 because wedding season is fast approaching. I've got a bunch of weddings coming up in March and if you wanna tag along with them, if you wanna see anything from them, from this camera, let me know and I can try and make that happen. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button. If you wanna see more content about this camera or anything else to do with photography or video, then hit the subscribe button. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, have a great day, bye-bye.